and thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. How has your team gotten off to such a fast start this spring? I think probably the, the biggest difference early in the spring has been our pitching staff. And they've pitched extremely well. We've pitched it very well out of the bullpen and given our offense an opportunity to win games. And any other issue, it, they trust one another. I think they believe in each other. They, they play with the game with a lot of confidence, not only in their own ability, but in each other's. And, and we've been able to use a, a wide variety of players in, in a number of different situations. Mm -hmm. So you have a good camaraderie on your team? I think this, this team may be as close as any we've had in a long time. All right, that's good. OK, and you have a lot of new players. So, um, how have they mixed in with the veterans? Uh, very well up to this point. Of course, uh, I think we have more new players than we have veteran players, in all mm -hmm. honesty. We have 16 new faces, and, uh, wow. and they've, uh, they've hopped on. and. Uh, accepted their roles. Some of them have been been able to jump into starting roles for us on on certain occasions, and others are playing backup roles for us, and and are very happy and uh, with that situation and and knowing that uh, you know if they continue to work, that eventually, you know whether it's this year or down the road, they have the opportunity to be everyday players as well. Right. Okay. Um, what kind of qualities do you look for in these new players while recruiting? Uh, one of the biggest things we look for early on is character. You know, of course, they all need to be able to play at a high level, mm -hmm. but, you know, we look at character issues and, and coachability and whether or not they're, uh, they're willing to make adjustments and willing to be taught and uh, willing to work within a team setting. Um, you know, that's, all those things are important for us. And then, you know, they need to have uh, a desire to achieve at a high level, not mm -hmm. only on the field but in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what does it mean to you to have the CAA tournament here at Brooks Field? It's always an exciting time for us. We, we've been fortunate to have it here for, I guess, the last six years, and the crowds continue to uh, get our players excited. Uh, right. You know, being able to play on your home field, which is something we're all used to, and, and maintain a similar routine, sleeping in the same bed and eating the same type foods and right. same places, being able to maintain a routine, while you're competing for a conference championship, I think is uh, extremely important for us. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, now, you will become the school's all-time winningest coach this season. What are some of your proudest moments since taking over the program? I guess uh, probably, you know, the things we're most proud of are, are more in recent years where we've had uh, four regional clubs. Our first. Uh, NCAA regional as, a, as an at-large in 2003 where we went to Louisiana and played at LSU and played in a championship game and lost an extra innings down there. But mm -hmm. it was an unbelievable experience for our players and the coaching staff. And then the following year coming back and winning the conference championship, first time we'd won a conference championship here in 2004. And, um, and then again in 2006 being able to come back and win a conference championship. After being behind in every game throughout the, throughout the tournament, we were behind and worked our way back each day and came from behind to win a conference championship. All those are, you know, are uh, big moments in, in our program. And, uh, and then, of course, last year, uh, you know, setting a record for uh, the most wins ever in, in our program's history in a single season and, mm -hmm. you know, playing in a championship game up in Cary against North Carolina in the regional tournament. Unfortunately, we came up a little bit short. Thanks, Coach, for stopping by. Keep it rolling on the diamond, and we'll all be sure to be out at Brooks Field this season to root the Seahawks on. And don't forget, the CAA Baseball Championships run May 20th through the 23rd. Log on to uncwsports.com for tickets and more information. Coming up next, storm clouds have been replaced by a silver lining for Seahawk golfer Ashley Tate. Derek Q. Lewis has the story right after these messages. 